Now let me show you how the Construction Master Pro's right angle functions can help save time and reduce costly material guesstimates when doing rafters. As long as you know any two of these values, you can solve for the rest. Let's say we want to calculate the length of a common rafter and a regular 45 degree hip or valley rafter and some jack rafters. Now, One of the first things you need to know about the pitch key is that it's rise over run, which we define as half the span of the building. So if you've got a building that's 7.5 uh, meters across, 7.5 meters wide, we're going to divide that by 2, 3.75 meters, and we enter that as our run. Now if the plans say it should have a rise of maybe 2.1 meters, we'll enter that as a rise, and then we just press the diagonal key and it gives us the hypotenuse, and that's the geometrically correct hypotenuse from the center of the ridge to the outside edge of the plate. So of course you're going to have to adjust for half the thickness of the ridge and add any overhang as, as needed as you, your design dictates. Um, you can also see the pitch. This is a 29.25 degree roof. Also with the uh, common rafter, it gives you the cuts on this. So a plumb cut's going to be 29.25, we just saw that. But also the level cut's going to be 60.75. You can also enter in uh, the parameters of a roof directly. Say we know that 3.75 meters is our run, and the plans say it should be a 35 degree roof. Well, we can enter that as a pitch. 35 degrees is a pitch. Now you can calculate your rise if you like. You can calculate your hypotenuse. That's the length of your common rafter. You've got to make the adjustments at the top and the plate. Uh, off of that, you also have a hip or a valley rafter. If it's a 45 degree coming off, the length of that would be 59.18. You can press that again and get the plumb cut, 26.34 degrees. You can get the level cut, and you can also get the cheek cut. And it's 45 degrees because it's a standard uh, hip. Uh, the jack rafter key here will give you the length of every single jack rafter from the common all the way down to the corner. And you press that first time, and it says jack on center, 16 inches. So it's here in the States, a common on center uh, spacing is 16 inches. Maybe for a metric situation, we might want to put in 450 millimeters. So let me enter 450, convert to 9, and then I'm going to set that, store that as on center. Over the 5 key, there's on center. So I just store 5 that enters it as 450 millimeters, and that'll stay in there permanently until you override it or do an all clear. So now I just go back to the jack key, and it says jack on center is now based on 450 millimeter spacing. Press it again. It says the increment, the distance, or the, the distance between the length of one and the next and the next is going to be uh, 549 millimeters shorter each time. So you can lay them out that way and cut them a little faster maybe. Press it again. So jack number one is going to be 4029 millimeters. Number two, number three, all the way down to the corner, shorter and shorter by that same increment. Down to the last one. Uh, the Construction Master Pro can also handle dual pitch roofs and calculate the regular hip and valley and jack rafter links. Uh, so that's a quick overview on the rafter functions. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.